What's going on, guys? Joe McCall here, <clears throat> and I'm coming at you live right now in Zoom, in YouTube, and in Facebook. How's it going? All right, so back to REI Secrets. This is a used to be a weekly webinar series training that I did for free, and um, just teaching you how I do stuff, right? Teaching you secrets for marketing, automation, and delegation. And so one of the keys to success in this business, three of the keys to success, marketing, automation, and delegation. So number one, you need to get marketing done for you in spite of you, okay? And you need to automate your marketing. You need to set up systems where your marketing is done for you in spite of you. And we know that the we're not in the real estate investing business. We are in the marketing business. Can I hear an amen, right? We're, not, we're in the marketing business. We're not in the real estate business, not in the lease options business, not in the vacant land business, whatever, right? We're all about marketing and marketing is all about everything that we're doing. So third thing is we create systems to do the marketing for us in spite of us, right? The third thing is um, we need to delegate whatever we can't automate. Delegate whatever you can't automate. So those three things, marketing, automation, delegation. So I'm all about systems and marketing and you got to get that stuff going. Now, it's one thing to get the phone to ring. It's quite the other to answer the phone and talk to sellers and know what to say. So what I thought we would do today is because I was just looking at my calendar thinking, what can we do on today's REI Secrets call? And I thought, let's just call some sellers live. Can we do that? And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into uh, St. Louis, Missouri. You know what? Let's pick a new market. Let's pick a different market. Um, those of you watching me right now on Zoom, give me uh, one or two markets we can look at. <clears throat> or if you're watching me on the YouTubes or Facebook. By the way, if you're watching me on YouTube right now, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share the love. If you're watching this on Facebook, give me a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know that you're here. You're liking this. You're watching it. You're getting something out of it. Really appreciate it. All right. So Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, Stockton, California, Battle Creek, Michigan, Portland, Oregon, Patterson, New Jersey. What else do we have here? Where is Battle Brookfield, Wisconsin? By the way, did you know that Wisconsin, Zillow, Wisconsin, does not have any um, for sale by owners on there anymore. Does not have any for sale by owners. All right. What else? Boston. I, I'm looking here at Battle Creek. Somebody put in Battle Creek, Michigan. I'm going to share my screen here. Let me move this water so I can see my share button. And here we are in Zillow. One of, Zillow is one of the places I like to go for looking for deals. Battle Creek, Michigan's right there in the middle between, this is Lansing, Michigan, looks like, Kalamazoo, Grand Rapids. And I like to look for homes in a couple different areas for sale by owner. I like to typically look for three plus bedrooms, homes over a hundred, under 600. And I also want to remove any other restrictions I might have on here. Cause I was playing with this on Zillow the other day. So I just kind of re reset all filters, you know, and then let's look at price again, under, under 600,000. Let's do three bedrooms. Let's do houses only. A lot of them, 500 agent listings, 357 by owner listings. So sometimes what I like to do is just look right here by owner, 263 listings. By the way, if you went to Wisconsin, this is new with Zillow. For whatever reason, there are no for sale by owners in Wisconsin. You want, you want me to show you this in this crazy? Um, I'm going to open a new tab. I'm going to copy that. Put it in here 
All right, let's go to Wisconsin, WI. I'm looking for for sale by owner. 100, 600, three plus bedrooms, houses only. There's no other filters here. And look at that. Zero Fizbos. This, these are Illinois properties, Iowa, Michigan, Ohio, nothing in Wisconsin. If we go to Minnesota, MN, 222. What's next to Wisconsin? Illinois, let's go to IL. Illinois, 914. What else we have? How about Indiana? IN, 563. How about Michigan? MI, 741. Wisconsin, oh, come on here. WI, none. What's going on in Wisconsin? They've removed all of it for sale by owners. So whatever. I don't know, I've, maybe I've not Googled it. <clears throat> Anybody know? I'm just curious. All right, so let's uh, let's look here at Zillow. Battle Creek, Michigan, is right in the middle of there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There's 53 properties, okay, and this is sorted by newest. I typically don't like to call the new ones that have been only up a day. So usually, what I like to do is look back and. Um, I'm kind of looking for ones that have been on at least for a couple of weeks. Okay. This is Hastings, Michigan. There's no, any pictures on that? What about this one here? This is near Kalamazoo, 448. Big house, almost 4,000 square feet. Really nice home. For sale by owner. Now the Zestimate is 429. They're asking 448. A lot of times Fizbo's, they ask for more. But look how many views. That's a good number of views. Finished basement. Looks like it's on some acreage. So a nice big lot, really nice home. For a small town, Kalamazoo, I don't know if that's a good price. I know it's kind of on the upper end, the upper limit. What if we call them? Now, I can tell you this. I'm going to get a lot of voicemails. It's just the nature of the beast and the way it works. But I'll try. Hello. Yeah, hi, my name is Joe. I'm calling about your house on Queen Victoria Lane. Yeah. Is it still available? Yes. It looks like a nice house. By the way, I'm not a realtor. You're probably getting a lot of calls from realtors looking for a listing. I'm, I'm looking for an investment property in the area. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about it? Uh, you, you are an agent? No, I'm not an agent. Well, I, I am an agent, but I live in St. Louis, Missouri. So I'm not looking for any listings. No. Oh, uh, I want to um, uh, to pick up my 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 daughter from school. Okay. Can you send a message for me? I uh, um, English is not good. Okay. Good too. Sorry. Okay. Can you send a message for me? Sure. Yes, I'll send you a message. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank thanks. You. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye. Okay, I don't know if you could hear that, but her English was really bad, and she was on her way to pick up her daughter, so she couldn't talk. Um, so what could you do? Well, you could text her, right? And I would text her. I'm not going to do it right now, but I would do it inside of FreedomSoft. I would send her a text. I didn't even get her name. I should have asked her name, but um, say, hey, I, I saw your house on Queen Victoria Lane. 
looks like a nice property. I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for a property that I can, an investment property that I can lease for a few years and then buy. That wouldn't work for you, would it? Something simple like that. Okay. But um, send them a text. Let's call one more FISBO and then let's call a, uh, a, um, <clears throat> a rental. So where was I going here? I love these small towns here, right? Here is one that is uh, 175, Hillsdale. There's no exterior picture of the home. Yeah. Is it a modular home? Big lot. You may be wondering, like, who on earth would want to live out here? <laughs> right? There's nothing. Well, you'd be surprised. A lot of people would. And sometimes what I'll do is a lease option assignment. Now, this house is right next to it, right? If we go back to the map, there's two properties here. I wonder if they're... Ah. This does not look like a house I'd want a lease option. Be more of a cash deal. This is a seller. I might call them or text them and say, hey, uh, and this works really good when you're calling FISBOs that are more uh, needing work. I like to send a text. Hey, I'm, I, I saw your property on Lake Pleasant Road. I'm an investor. Is your price negotiable? And I won't call them unless they respond back with something like, yeah, I might consider, I, I am a little negotiable. Because then they know I'm an investor and they are negotiable a little bit. Where did that one house go? This one. <clears throat> All right. So, wow. See, the, the, there's estimates 153. They're asking 175. Let's just call and see what they say. Oh, it's a manufactured home, brick fireplace in the living room, full unfinished basement, a deck on the back, attached to a car garage, one acre, modular home, does not have a title. What does that mean? Banks may not loan without a title, uh, without title. No land contracts unless you have half down and agree to a two-year balloon. Definitely no rent to own. These are... But those are the calls I get. All right, let's, let's skip that one. Eckford. Oh, this looks like a nice home. Maybe. It's kind of an odd property. But it's nice. I'm guessing it's an old house. Look at the basement walls here. Really big garage. Lots of acreage. The model farmhouse. Can you see how many acreage it has? Two acres. Okay. I just want to look at the map to see where it is here. All right. Let's call them. It's been on the market for 101 days. Two six nine nine six seven two eight oh six. Hello. Yeah, hi, my name is Joe. 
and I'm calling about your house on, uh, I saw on Zillow, the, um, looks like yeah. two and a half mile or 22 and a half mile road. 22 and a half mile. Oh, okay. Looks like a nice, yeah. looks like a nice property. Yeah. I am, uh, yeah. I, 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 is this a house that you remodeled yourself? Are you still living in it now? Yeah, we're still living in it. Yep. We remodeled it all. Looks really nice. Yep. I, you know, I'm, I'm an investor. I live actually in St. Louis, Missouri, and uh, we, okay. we, we buy homes all over the country and um, I like small towns. And uh, I have some friends yeah. that live in uh, the Battle Creek, Michigan area, Kalamazoo. And um, yeah. so I was just wondering about your house, you know, um, is it something that you're, are you uh, trying to sell it quickly? Do you have a lot of time on your hands? I, I'm just curious why you, maybe you don't list it with a realtor. And I'm not an agent, by the way, in Michigan. I'm not looking for a listing. I was you just know, curious. We're, my wife and I are building a log cabin and we're not in a big hurry to sell it. So we're just... We're living there while we're building our log cabin. Oh, good for you. Nice. Yep. So yep, that's why we're selling it ourselves and not in a huge hurry. We've had several people come look at it and everybody wants to do it on a land contract and all that crap. And we're like, nope, not yeah. dealing with that crap. So what, we've got what's a land a school teacher. What's that? I'm sorry. What What's a land contract? Oh, it's basically like lending, but they just keep paying whatever we settle on till it's paid off Yeah, and just doing it through us and not doing it through a bank. Okay. So you yeah. want to, you want to sell it so, and be done with it. Yep. Okay. And yep. you, that's what we want. We're not going, we're not going to do a land contract and go through all that and then have them quit pay making payments to us and then going through court and getting them evicted out of there. And yeah, we've seen too many times where they've done that and then they strip the house and then you got to redo the whole damn thing again. And yeah, it's not, we're not doing that. No, no I get it. I totally get so, it. And that's what happens a lot of times. We've had other people, they, we had in a couple houses that we rented out and they just quit making payments and it took forever to get them out of there. So we said, we're not doing this. We're done. Okay. And we, one of the other houses where we're building our log cabin, we ripped that house down after we got the people out. And that's why we're just going to sell this house. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. So, well, you're, yep. let me, let me just ask you one or two more questions real quick. Your house, your, your price two sixty nine. Um, yeah. is that, is that the lowest you'd go or would you, is that negotiable? Um, it could be negotiable a little bit possibly, but we're, we'd really like to stick right close to that. I mean, we don't want to go down too much. So yeah, yeah that's why we're not in a huge hurry. Yeah. Well, the thing so, I love about your property. Got, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. That? I was going to say that. No, we've got it. We've got another lady and a kid that are really interested. They're coming Saturday. So that she's a school teacher. She just moved up here from North Carolina nice. and she lives down the road and she wanted to come today. And we said, no, we can't make that happen. So she's coming Saturday. And the other kid is a friend of ours and he's really wanting it. So he's working with his parents in the bank and, so we really wanted him to have it, but the school teacher, she's, she's got to have something now. So she's wanting, she's coming to talk with us on Saturday. So I don't know. Okay. But, so you yeah. feel like, you feel like, I, I don't know the area as well as you do. I'm, I'm just looking for a property that has acreage on it. And you, yours has two acres, yeah. right? Yeah. It, yeah. 1.98 acres. And, uh, and there's... Go ahead. I'm sorry. I keep. I don't mean to keep on interrupting. It looks like there's two garages. Is that right? No, it's just one garage, and it's got two outbuildings. The one outbuilding, I have my chickens in. I've got power out to it. And, okay. Um, the other barn, the other little out shed has. It's just got fence around it where we had a dog that we kept out there at one point in time, and then the other garage, our big garage, has three garage doors. It's heated. Um. Yeah. And then we just put in a brand new septic this summer. Um, it's all natural gas. We were keeping all the appliances. We're going to stay with it. Washer, dryer. Yeah. The refrigerator, all the appliances, we're going to stay with it. Okay. 
and we just remodeled the kitchen, you know, quartz countertops, stainless yeah. steel appliances and stuff like that. But nice. You know, well, good. It sounds like, but, you know, I don't know what the property is worth there. Um, do you feel like 269, you should be able to sell it pretty quickly and easily with that price? It sounds like you've got some good interest in it already. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure that we can. Okay. So well, I think we're going to be real close and staying at that ballpark anyway. So, yeah. Well, it sounds like you've got a lot of interest in it. Um, if you don't sell it, have you thought about what you're going to do? Are you going to just list it on the MLS? Are you going to rent it out? Or are you you're going to sit on it until you I'm do sell it? I'm not, I'm not going to. We're definitely not renting it out. So yeah. we just book it with a realtor. We have a realtor that's our friend in in town, and she kind of gave us a, the price to stick it at. So yeah, that's kind of where we came up with the price, and she said she'd help us with the paperwork, and so that's where we came up with the price. So okay, well you yeah. you, you got a beautiful home. I think you're going to sell it fast, and uh, I want to wish you the best. I appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, no problem. If you're interested later on or whatever, and it's still up for sale, call me back. Yeah, I will. Thanks a lot. Yep. Bye bye. Okay. So, what are your thoughts? I know I can't see all of your thoughts. Um. Obviously, right out of the bat, without me bringing anything up, he says, "No, nah, we're not going to do any land contracts." We've got a lot of people asking for that. Which, by the way, don't be discouraged by that. Don't be discouraged by when a seller tells you something as forcefully as that before you've even brought it up. And don't be discouraged if you get talk to sellers and uh, they're saying things like, you know, everybody's calling me about rent to own. That's first of all, it's just not true. Not everybody is okay. The other thing is, um, I'm trying to get their motivation and the chances of you finding a motivated seller who's listing their house for sale by owner is really slim, especially on a nice house like this. It doesn't need much work, okay? He has cut his price a little bit, but uh, he's already got a lot of interest in it. He's already said, you know, we're just going to sit on it until we sell it. Um, definitely not. He was pretty strong. I'm not going to do any kind of creative financing. We'll just list it with an agent. So this is, you know, I'm not going to waste too much time on this. I'm just going to, you know, if I was really actively looking for deals in Michigan, I would add him on my list to call back in 30 days. You know, call him back in 30 days. Hey, Jim, I forget, I forget his name. I didn't even ask. I'm just following up on that property. Have you sold it yet? I'm sure you have. Okay. Um, he needs to get he needs to um, get a little more motivation. And it might be a year. Who knows? He might be too aggressive with his price. What would you guys have done anyway? Somebody here is saying send him an offer anyway. But yeah, I'm probably not going to send him a letter, an offer. I would maybe send him a letter. Just, hey, it was nice talking to you. Uh, I know you don't want to do seller financing or anything like that, but if circumstances change, you know, please let me know. I'd love to make an offer. So I might send it a letter like that, but I probably wouldn't send them an offer with a contract. Any other comments on that? <clears throat> By the way, I'm going to, um, I want to do, 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 do a uh, quick search here on my YouTube because you guys are watching us on YouTube. And I'm going to hopefully mute myself. There we go. Any comments in YouTube? All right. So put in your comments in YouTube or in Facebook. I will look at it when I can. All right. So let's look at, those are two FISBOs. I, I do not like cold calling. All right. I do not enjoy doing that at all. I just thought we would do it for this class. It is the fastest way to a deal, getting on the phone making 20 or 30 of those calls a day. Um, but I don't like doing it. <laughs> I would rather respond to somebody who, re, you know, call somebody who responds to my text or who calls me from a letter, gets my voicemail, right? But sometimes, you know, it depends kind of how hungry you are, doesn't it? Let's look at rentals now. And let's look at, I'm not going to do any filtering. And um, let's look in. Let's look for rentals in this area, Kalamazoo, Battle Creek. So I'm gonna just go out a little bit. These are let's do two plus bedrooms, houses for rent, and let's sort by low to high. 
All right. This is a house in small town Bronson, Michigan. Bronson, Michigan. <clears throat> it's got lake access, maybe. Is it on a lake? It's across the street from a lake. Been listed for eight days. Lakefront house available for rent at a huge discount for six months. So it's only available for six months. It's fully furnished. All right, let's call Thomas. Montree. Uh, do, do, do. Hello, Tom. Hey, Tom. My name is Joe. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm uh, Thanks, man. I, I'm calling about your house on Werner's Landing in Bronson, Michigan. Oh, okay. Uh, looks like a nice house. I'm an investor. I'm looking to buy some properties in the area. I have some friends in, in Kalamazoo um, area. And I was just wondering about your property. Um, and if you don't mind me asking, you wouldn't have any interest in maybe selling it, would you? Uh, no. Okay. No interest all right. at all? Thank you. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. That's rare. Most of the time I get a, yeah, maybe if the price is right, everything's for sale. But he was pretty quick to say no. Not a big deal. Battle Creek. This is an interesting house. No pictures. It looks old. 900 a month. And there's no phone number. So you just send a, uh, send a message. How about this one? This looks like a beautiful home. It's a mobile home, isn't it? Mm. I'm not going to pretend I'm interested in that. I'm not. Here's Kalamazoo. A nice little backyard, external garage. This is one of the other reasons why I love small towns. You get a lot of um, properties listed by owner. 269-247-5200. This is Jim Cavanaugh. Leave me your name and phone number and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Thank you. Hey, Jim, my name is Joe. I'm calling about your house on Cherry Street in Kalamazoo. Um, looks like a really nice house. I know this is out of the blue. I'm just, I'm an investor looking to buy some more property in the area. And I just wanted to see if you'd have any interest in selling it. Uh, give me a call back. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye-bye. All right. <clears throat> so we'll see if I get a call or not. I just thought about something on that last call that I did. Um, sometimes I go with my conversation to something along the lines of, um, you know, I'm looking for a property that I can maybe rent um, on a long-term basis and just ask them, would you consider renting it for three or four or five years? Take that kind of a, take that kind of a route, right? Um, let's look for a house that's been listed a little longer. Um, that's maybe with a property manager. Let's 
17 hours, 26 days. I like calling property managers because they have a lot of clients. In fact, maybe we need to go to a bigger city. Let's go to uh, Grand Rapids. Let's do high to low. United Properties of West Michigan. This looks like a really nice house. And they obviously, this is weird. Why do they do this? They like put their text all over each image. It's been listed 22 days. I'm looking here. They can do six month or nine month. No section eight. All right. United Properties of West Michigan. This will be the last call I do here, but I want to show you what I prefer to do on a house like this. The line while we transfer your call. Hello, and welcome to United Properties of West Michigan. For English, press 1. Para español, o prima 2. Hello, and welcome to United Properties of West Michigan. Please note, all calls are recorded for quality assurance and training purposes. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. Alternatively, to help us direct your call, please choose one of the following options. For service and maintenance, press 1. To lease a property, or if you have questions about your current lease, press 2. If you're a property owner and you're interested in our property management services, press 3. If you're currently one of our property management clients, press 4. All right, this is why I don't like doing live seller calls because it's really hard to get a hold of people. Talk to two or three people, didn't we? All right, so this is what I would prefer to do on a property like this. I like to send the owner a letter. Send the owner a letter. And how do you do that? You go to propstreamjoe.com and you log in and get the seller's information. PropStreamJoe.com. And I'm going to tell you what to uh, say in the letter. Then I'm going to show you another thing I like to do to get leads. Well, look at this. Okay. They've only owned this property for three months. Do mm. you think they're going to want to sell it? I don't know. Maybe I won't. Um, what I used to do, I used to do this a lot. I'd have a virtual assistant every single day go in and look up all of the properties listed for rent in Zillow and put them into a spreadsheet and go into the county records. And if it had been sold, purchased or sold in the last year, she would exclude it. Anything other than that, this is a great house here. Anything outside of that, um, you know, I would send the owner a letter. So here's another house. And this one is listed by a property, rental property consultants, okay? 
So every day I would go in and I would find 20 to 30 new properties that my virtual assistant had found off of Zillow. Ah, here you go. I love it. All right, this is a good example. And I would send the owners a letter. I would have actually, let me rewind a little bit. My VA every day would go in and look for rental properties on Zillow and put 20 or 30 of them into a Google sheet. I would send that Google sheet um, every morning. I had another lady who was a stay-at-home mom <clears throat> who just wanted to make some extra money. She would hand write 20 to 30 yellow letters for me every day. And this is what we would do. We, we would go find these properties on Zillow. And this one um, is a nice looking house, been listed for 46 days. They're probably asking a little too much and that's why. Um, but guess what? Looking at the pictures, it's vacant, right? Vacant property. You look at PropStream, the owner has owned it for 13 years and it's not showing up yet as an absentee owner. It's owner occupied. And the property address is the same as the mailing address. So how much mail do you think this person has received? None. And it looks like it's in James and Linda Dizwau Trust. Okay. If I go here to their mortgage, looks like they just opened. Ah, uh, this doesn't make sense. They just got a mortgage a couple, three weeks ago. This might be a reverse mortgage situation. I would look, I would look into that. Um, but it says no, new conventional. You can pay for the... Um, Sometimes you get the loan information there in that document, but um, it says here it has estimated 507 grand in equity. Estimated value is 507, but it does have the loan balance. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, the, uh, well, let's look here at MLS details. Sometimes you can see, this is weird. It sold in August. 475, but it's listed for rent right now. Generally, yeah, maybe it was bought to rent out. So the, the owner, it hasn't been updated in owner records yet. I'm not sure what's going on here. But anyway, uh, geez, I would still, I would still, you know what I would do? Um, I would go into the public records. Most counties have public records and you can go in and you can see um, if that's been updated yet. I can't, I can't tell if this has been. Okay, so here it says, the transaction mortgage history says the buyer is this. Cyspersky? but it hasn't been updated here yet. So go look in the county records. Now, where do you, how do you do that? You know, like for example, St. Louis County, I'll just Google St. Louis County assessor and you get the assessor's office. And usually in whatever county you're in, there's somewhere in here where you can look up properties. You can look up real estate information, and you could look up somebody's house address and see who owns it. Now, this is for St. Louis County. I'd have to go in and spend some time figuring out where Caledonia, Michigan, what county is Caledonia, Michigan in? Kent County. All right. So then I would do a search for, let's do actually a search here for. Kent County, Michigan assessor. Property lookup. Ah, look at this. All right, let's pull this property up here. Let me go back to details. Copy. Street number. Ah, it's not working for me. 7887. Street name. Craft. Let's see if that comes up with anything. 
Ah, look at this. So it has been updated. Prop stream is outdated. That's frustrating. So you can see the owner's name is here, Saspersky. And the prop stream is not updated yet. All right, so my point still stands. When your VAs are going through and looking for properties listed for rent, make sure they're going in and looking at making sure there's no properties that have recently sold here. Ah, and they could have, you could have found that right here in Zillow. Look at this. If I go to price history, <coughs> you can see this property um, sold in August, so about two months ago <clears throat> to the day. That's from Zillow. All right, let's look at another one. How about this one? Eight days ago. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Nice house. <clears throat> this does not look like a rental property. I wonder what's going on here. Let's look at price history. Maybe it's a newer construction, right? Let's look at the address. I hope you guys aren't bored. Are you bored just watching me do this? This is why I have a VA do this stuff for me, right? <clears throat> All right. I'm getting no, I'm not bored. Thank you. This is kind of weird. It shows this looks like a vacant lot, condominium. I don't know what's going on here. Length of ownership is blank. Mortgage transaction history. All right, something happened here within the last year. So I'm going to skip this one. Again, I don't want to send a letter to an owner who just bought or sold a property in the last year. This looks like a good house. All right. Let's look at price history, maybe. Ah, shoot, another one. What's going on here? <laughs> By the way, who buys these houses and rents them in this price range? I mean, you're not getting any kind of ROI on this. Unless they're paying cash. Like who buys a house for $305,000 to rent it out for only 2,600. Um, I'm curious to see if this is like a big institutional investor or is this a mom and pop investor? Maybe it's a hedge fund. Sue Campbell, she's owned it for two months. It's listed as owner occupied. What's going on here? She, she bought it in August, 305. Um, what's going on? Why is she renting this house? This would be a good one to call her. Maybe she's renting it by the room. It's already furnished. All right. Let's look for another one. I'm going to go down in price a little bit here. How about this one? Yeah, somebody says here, Michelle, I would say this was purchased at market by an uneducated investor and they don't know about the 1% rule. I did that once. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this looks like a decent house available now. It's only been on the market zero days. Total renovation superior leasing services. Let's look at price history. All right, well, this one sold a year and a half ago. Let me show you what kind of letter I would send. Let's look this up in PropStream. Again, wouldn't it be nice to have a virtual assistant that just does all this for you? 
You don't have to do all this clicking around. All right. So the owner has owned this for a year and eight months. Stacy Tilly. They live in Ada, Michigan. You can click on linked properties. They own five. This person owns whoever's at this address owns five other properties. <clears throat> and um, you can see where they own the properties here. They've owned this one for a year and eight months. But what's interesting is this shows up as owner occupied, but the address is different than the, the mailing address is different than the property address. So this is what I would do. All right, so I have a VA every day goes into Zillow and looks up the rentals, looks up the new rentals and looks for properties that um, have been purchased with at least a year ago or longer, okay? And even if the address is, is the same, that's fine. We're still going to send them a letter. Puts it in a spreadsheet. It comes to somebody. Maybe it's you. Maybe while you're watching, uh, what's that stupid show that everybody's talking about? Squid Games or something, right? While you're watching Squid Games, um, you are the, uh, handwriting 20 letters. I have students that do these letters and, and kill it. They crush it. Um, and why do I do letters? Well, you, you saw how uncomfortable and weird those cold calls were. I didn't get, reach half the people. And uh, the other half were like, yeah, not motivated at all. It's just kind of frustrating. Now, if you had the guts and you could do it, that is the fastest way to a deal, making phone calls, right? If I would have made 30 of those a day, which I could easily do, make 30 phone calls a day, Man, I'm going to get somebody that says, yeah, you know what? I might want to sell. I might consider doing that. Depends, right? I get some little bit more motivation on there. But I also have now more people that I can follow up with, more people that I can call in 30 days. The phone is the fastest way to a deal without question. Me, I don't like that. I'm not comfortable on the phone. I'd rather talk to people who raise their hand and say, yeah, I want to sell. So how do you find them? You send them letters, handwritten yellow letters work really, really well. So this is what I would do. I would say, dear Stacy, my husband and I, I'm not like that. My, I'm writing this as my wife. Okay. My wife is writing this letter. I'm writing it for her in her name, but I'm saying my husband and I were looking for a property that we can buy in the area. And we saw your property at 1054 Logan Street Southeast in Grand Rapids, period. You haven't thought about selling it, have you? Give me a call. We'd like to make you an offer today. Thanks, Victoria, and a phone number. All right. 20, could you handwrite 20 of those a day? Yes, you can. When we have done these uh, little challenges in the past, five leads in five days, we call them. And we're going to be doing one again in uh, about three, four weeks. This is one of the first things we tell people to do. And the results are mind blowing. People go crazy over this. I just, in the challenge, we tell them just send five letters. That's it. You know, um, we used to tell them send 20, but it's, more people would do it if it was easier. So we tell them just to send five and most people then will send more. But anyway, um, people come back saying, I can't believe it. I've got, um, 10% response rate, 15% response rate. I got leads. I got sellers. So we're sending these letters to absentee owners who own these rental properties. And think about it. These are nice homes. We can offer these people a lot more money for their house. This one, I think looks it's free and clear. It was paid with cash. So we could give, we could give them an owner financing offer at full price or something like that, right? We could call them. In fact, let's just call this one. Who is this? Where'd the phone number go? Superior Leasing Services. Oh, I am a sucker for punishment. This call may be recorded. All these phone numbers say this call may be recorded. Leasing. This is Deborah. Can I help you? Hi, Deborah. My name is Joe, and I'm calling about your house at 1054 Logan Street. Hi, Joe. 
it looks like a real nice house. Um, do you have a few minutes? Can, can I ask yeah. you a few questions about it? No, I, I'm not a tenant. I'm not looking to rent. I'm actually an investor and I'm looking for some properties to buy in the neighborhood. Oh. And, um, okay. you know, if this one is not for sale, maybe you have some others that might be, but I'm just curious. Uh, it looks like they did a, the owner, uh, did a great job rehabbing this property. <clears throat> yeah. And, uh, do you know if they have, would have any interest in maybe selling it by any chance? Oh, I kind of doubt it. They just purchased it and they like gutted it. I mean, I mean, like down to the frame. Wow. Okay. Um, they got all brand new plumbing, electrical walls, windows, everything is brand new. So I don't think that they would be really interested in selling it right now. Okay. Um, Have they rented so, it out yet? Or is this their first time they've listed it for rent? Yeah, this is the first time that they're um, renting it out. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's still not quite even done. They're still like going to redo the front porch and the steps and stuff like that. But they're, I'm pretty sure that they wouldn't be interested in selling it. I can, however, give um, pass on your information. You know, I can always ask. Yeah, okay. And, and maybe you have other clients uh, that uh, have a rental property they might want to sell. Um, I'm always looking for properties to buy and, and I don't have an agent representing me in Grand Rapids. So you could always represent me as the buyer as well. Okay. I was just going to say, have you, uh, do you have a, a, an agent already? What's your name, sir? A uh, Joe. And what was your name again? Uh, my name is Deborah. Hawkins. Deborah. Okay, cool. Um, okay. no, I'm Joe, in St. McCall, Joe McCall. Uh-huh. And I am, uh, I actually live in St. Louis. I got some friends in Grand oh. Rapids and we're, we're, we're always looking for deals to buy and um, oh, okay. Sometimes we fix, we buy uh, properties that need a lot of work. Sometimes we buy nice properties like this okay. that don't need any yeah. work. Um, it's a hot market right now. It's hard to find deals, you know? It is. Unless, well, in the Grand Rapids area, I am working with another investor. She's buying quite a few properties in Muskegon right now. Oh, really? Um, be, yeah, the rents are, I mean, the, the prices are much lower. And, you know, we're kind of anticipating that the, um, that the area is going to, you know, in, improve here huh. soon grand rapids is growing so rapidly yeah. and um the properties in muskegon are not very expensive joe what is your phone number it's 636 uh-huh five one yeah okay would you be interested in anything that's not in the grand rapids area yeah you know um i'm open to that and i'd be interested okay. in you know i i preferred off market deals, but, um, cause right. you know, I can, I can go look on Redfin, but if you, you know, I'm sure you find uh deals sometimes that just need too much work that maybe one of your other clients wouldn't be interested in. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm always looking for deals oh, yeah. and, and, and maybe like, do you, do you manage a lot of rental properties? Yeah, I do manage. Um, I work mainly as a broker for, um, private landlords, I'm okay. just doing like the placements and stuff like that. Oh, nice. But I do manage, um, I do just the placements, but I do manage for um, a couple of investors. And one of them is, um, she does actually own quite a few properties out in Muskegon. And I've been working with her to buy some stuff recently. Okay. So if I had a rental property, you could help me find a tenant for it. Oh, definitely. I'd find you a tenant, a great tenant. All right. Well, yeah, yeah, just take, you have my name and number. If you have any clients. Have an email address, Joe? I yeah. Can send you, I can email you? Yeah, it's J-V. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And you're in St. Louis? Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, I was just planning a trip to St. Louis, my girlfriend's, and it got canceled. Pretty disappointing. Oh, that's a bummer. No, I know. Okay. So, um, yeah, that would be fantastic, Joe. Um, like I said, I have been working. I can send you some listings as they pop up. Do you like, do you prefer like a single family or do you like the duplexes or what? I, I'm looking for, I like single families, you know, that um, whether they need work or not. Uh, I like single families. You know, I prefer three bedrooms or more, but I can do two. Okay. Um, yeah. 
Okay, I know. I've, um, like I said, I will keep my ears um, plastered. I'll let you know of anything that I okay. hear come up. Yeah. Um, I know I'm looking for it right now, the address, because I had one earlier this morning that's not on the market yet, and it's a four-bedroom actually in Muskegon, and they're asking 46000 for it. Wow. It's a duplex, but one bedroom on top and a two-bedroom on the bottom. Um, and it's, oh, wait a minute, is that one that? But it is 46000 and it's, house it's um really not uh, it's a great price it's severely underpriced yeah it might be a single family and i had sent this to someone earlier that's why i just happened to be sitting right here in front of me but it is in muskegon if you'd like i can shoot you the address and i'll link to it yeah i'd love to look. i'd love to look at it yeah okay i'll send it to you joe all right deborah thank you we'll thank talk you soon so much okay bye 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 how about that Woo! You, uh, I was hiding my, my cell phone number and email, but if you read my lips, you probably got it. <laughs> but anyway, um, that was fun. Like, look, this is a house. They bought it over a year ago, and I think they have way over rehabbed it for a rental property. Just my humble opinion. Maybe they got a lot of money to burn. I don't know. But what did I just do there? I found a realtor. Super nice. Number one, that is somebody that I want working with me. I want to work with her because she answers her phone. You know how hard it is to get realtors that answer their phones. My goodness. And she, are, she noticed she said she, she places tenants. So if I have a rent to own lease option property, you think I could hire her? She works with private investors. You think I could hire her to put tenant buyers in some of my homes? Heck yeah. She also knows investors. So if I have a deal, maybe I can send it to her and she can sell it to one of her other investor buyers. And she's got, she said she's got an off market property. She's going to email to me. It's a duplex, maybe a single family home. She said 46 grand. Um, yeah, that's money right there. Love it. Who, by the way, who here is somebody who ever wrote down uh, uh, that part of Michigan? Uh, Jerry. Jerry, do you do deals in Muskegon? I got a pocket listing in Muskegon. Michigan. I don't even know where Muskegon is. How do you spell Muskegon? M-U-S-K-E-G-O-N. Muskegon. It can't be that far. Oh, it's on a lake. Some lake. Uh, but you know what she said? Their properties are much more affordable. It's near Grand Rapids. There you go. Um, let's look and let me copy Muskegon here. Let's look at what's available in on Zillow in Muskegon. I just want to get an idea for the market. Muskegon, and let me uh, move my bar here, remove boundary. So these are all of the rental properties. Wow, you can rent this one for 19,000 a month. What? Let's do low to high. So I don't know if it's Muskegon, kind of like a vacation community, a small town, not many jobs there, but I mean, look, these are pretty solid rents for a little town, 1,000, 1,300, 1,375, 1,400, 1,500, 2,000, not bad. Let's zoom out a little more. Now there's, okay. Let's do uh, not just houses. Let's do condos, townhomes. All right, 800. Why weren't these showing up before? Was I doing something different? So some of those are showing up as apartments or condos or co-ops. Okay, it's a second home community, but it's growing and investors are tired who are tired of Grand Rapid prices. Grand Rapids prices are going there to search for deals. All right. So <clears throat> um Jerry, if I found a good deal, would you partner with me on it? In Muskegon? Anybody else on Zoom or on YouTube or on Facebook here would be willing to partner? Oh, Jerry's got it. He said absolutely right out the right out of the gate. So this is what I love about this business, guys. I mean, yeah, I've got an audience. I got another person here, Sell Prop Now LLC. 
said he would partner or she would partner with me on it. This is what I love about this business. I don't know anything about Grand Rapids, Muskegon, Michigan. I don't think I've ever even been there before. And um, if you find a good deal, I don't know, $46,000 for a duplex that probably needs work. I don't know if that's a good deal or not, but, but what if um, I could buy it with owner financing? But if it needs a lot of work and I know the seller and I can tell the seller, hey, listen, what if uh, I could get you your price? Would you be willing to carry financing for a little bit? Give them their price with 10% down. Um, and uh, owner financing. If it, that house, that duplex probably rents for a thousand a month, I'm going to guess. It probably needs 30 to 50 grand in work. What if, this is something cool. I, you've seen me promote it. Uh, this week, we've been promoting a challenge that I'm doing next week with a friend of mine, Scott Jelinek. Um, yeah, so Jerry, uh, shoot me an email, Jerry. I'm going to send you uh, my email address. Okay. Shoot me an email, Jerry, and, and we'll follow up. Um, okay. What was I going to say? Oh yeah. So next week I'm promoting a challenge called the slow flip challenge with a good friend of mine, Scott Jelinek. And he does a lot of these deals. And what he does is he buys beat up rental properties at low prices. He buys them like a car and sells them like a house. And what he does is he gets a private investor He'll buy them anywhere between 30 to 40, maybe 50 with private money. And he pays that private investor 10 to 12%. Okay. And then he sells them to another investor on a 30 year mortgage. No money. Well, very little money down. Okay. On a 30 year mortgage. So he buys the houses like a car. He sells them like a house. He buys them with private money, pays them off in five years. And then he sells them immediately at the same time. He sells them to another investor <clears throat> on a land contract with very little down, 7 8% interest over 30 years. And that investor then buys the house, fixes it up, and rents it out. So he's doing what he calls a slow flip. You don't make any money the first five years, okay? But you have another investor paying off your private investor you get that house paid off in five years. Guess what happens on day one of year six? You're now all of a sudden getting $800 to $1,000 a month in cash flow as the bank. You've not fixed up the house. You're not paying any, you don't care at all about tenants or maintenance or landlord problems because you're the bank. You're not the landlord. Somebody else has been paying your private loan. Now for the next 25 years, you're getting, you know, $700, 800 $1,000 a month in real cash flow, real cash flow, okay? So we're gonna be teaching you how to do this. You buy a house for 30, 40 grand up front. You sell it for 80 to 90,000 on 30 year mortgage. And uh, you're basically selling the financing. The house comes with it. You're selling good financing terms to an investor who doesn't wanna go out and get a bank loan they don't, they want to use OPM, other people's money, and you sell the house to them. They go buy the house with your financing, fix it up, rent it out. Okay. And they could cash you out later if they wanted to, but who knows? Maybe they will, maybe they won't. They're going to be getting at least a couple hundred dollars a month in cash flow as well. So you want to set it up where if they rent it out for 1200, they're paying you no more than maybe 950 or a thousand. Does that make sense? We're going to be doing, this is a free class we're doing that starts next week, all about this, the slow flip challenge, which is kind of breaking the whole rental myth, which is one of the things I love about it. He's a, Scott Jelinek's a friend of mine, been friends for years, five, six plus years. And he's got 128 of these properties and he owns 58 of them, I think, free and clear, 52 or I don't remember. Over 50 of them, he owns free and clear now. And he's just getting a check every month from the investor as the bank. He's not the landlord. He's got about 120 that he's bought. Um, he's got 53 or so that are free and clear. And then every month, 
because he's got so many now, um, you know, every one or two months, he's getting a new one that gets paid off and he's not getting any cash flow the first five years. Does that make sense? But your, your six day one, you know, day month one, now he keeps 100% of that payment from the investor as his, that's his cash flow. Beautiful. It's a beautiful model. I love it. And that would be something that I would look at with uh, the seller that Deborah said for maybe for this off-market property. I would look at, all right, um, this duplex, they want $46,000 for it. Um, maybe I'd give them a cash offer if it's a good deal. If I feel like it's worth maybe a hundred and only needs 10, 20 grand in work, maybe that would work. But anyway, if you're interested in this thing, go to slowflip.com, slowflip.com. I'm going to put that in the Zoom chat here. If somebody can type this in the Facebook chat, if you're watching this or the YouTube, type in slowflip.com. This is a free class that we're doing starting next week, Monday, the October 18th. If you're watching this later, after this is already done, um, still go to slowflip.com and you might be able to watch the replay there. All right. So this has been an entertaining call. I think had a couple of bad calls, had a good one, which was awesome. Um, so it's going to be, a, I hope you guys get some value out of this. Hopefully Deborah, I'm going to reach out to her. Hopefully she calls me back, gets me some deals. Jerry, who is the student friend investor that is on this zoom with me. Maybe we'll partner on this deal together. Huh? Okay. Appreciate you guys. Um, got a jet. We'll see y'all later. Take care, everybody.